Look, hello everyone and, um, and welcome to the 2021 uh, Open Source Strategy Forum. I'm really excited to be kicking things off today. We've got a great program lined up for you. Um, it's been a long road to get where we are. I remember first meeting Gab um, at our very first board meeting somewhere in Silicon Valley, what seems like ages ago now, but I think it was actually about six or seven years. Um, and at that point, as, as Gab mentioned, we weren't Finos yet. We were the Symphony Software Foundation. And um, our mission was you know, to support open sourcing and collaboration around the Symphony ecosystem. Um, but already I knew that we had something very special there. Um, because for the first time, we had engineering representatives from the major sell side firms and already some of the buy side firms sitting down together in an open forum to talk about software and collaboration. Um, and that had never happened before, right? And in particular, at the end of that board meeting, we were all sitting down at an Italian restaurant in Palo Alto somewhere that Gab had recommended. And I will say this, always follow Gab's recommendations on Italian restaurants. You will never go wrong. Um, so anyway, we, we were sitting there and we had had a lot of great food, a lot of wine to drink, and at that point in the evening, everyone was pretty satisfied. Um, and I see Gab call the waiter over and, and whisper something very quickly in Italian to him. One, one of Gab's criteria for picking an Italian restaurant is that everyone must be fluent in Italian. Um, so he calls the waiter over, says something quickly to him, and about 10 minutes later, three enormous platters of steak appear. Like, we're done at this point. And like three enormous platters of steak come out. And that's when I realized Gab is not messing around, and he always has bigger plans for you. And that's how we ended up in 2018 with the FinTech Open Source Foundation that we all know and love as Finos. Um, look, our mission still includes a deep commitment to collaboration around the Symphony ecosystem, um, but it's also much broader now, encompassing all, encompassing all aspects of financial services technology. Um, our membership has expanded dramatically over those years, um, so we welcomed many more FinTech and buy side firms to the organization. We have major contributions from multiple companies, and we're in discussion with regulators about how they can collaborate with us to ensure that the transmission of financial information is as frictionless as possible. We're talking to ISTA about contributing their common domain model to Finos. Um, and you'll hear more about our Open Reg Tech initiative from Gab in just a bit. Um, and look, and now we're part of the Linux Foundation, which is incredibly exciting. You know, joining the preeminent open source foundation was a no-brainer for us. And it helps us integrate the special needs of financial services, with the broader open source community. Having the level of support and community building that the Linux Foundation brings is a huge win. Right? Tools like LS, LFX Insights are already proving hugely useful to us. Um, we have greater opportunity to explore synergies with other LF projects, like the enterprise-friendly blockchain of Hyperledger, the cloud enablement of CNCF, um, security focus of OpenSSF, and the standards-in-a-box approach of the Joint Development Foundation. And look, before I hand things over to Gab and the other speakers this morning, I want to touch a bit on what I think are some of the most exciting recent developments uh, in Finos, and hopefully set the stage a bit for some of the talks and panels that you're going to see uh, throughout the day. In particular, I want to focus on the role of data in financial services. And look, I often joke with people in, in the tech industry, by which I really mean the social media and search industry. Um, you know, I tell them, you guys don't really need to find the right answer. In fact, there often isn't a right answer, right? They just need to find, you know, the cute, cute enough baby picture, a controversial enough news article to keep you scrolling and clicking. In financial services, we need the right answer, and there is a right answer. And we need to be able to show exactly how we got that answer. Um, and that often requires a different set of tools. Um, and look, there are two recent Finos contributions that help financial services firms do exactly that. At Goldman Sachs, we recently open sourced our data modeling platform, Legend, which you heard about last year from Pierre Debelin, uh, Legend's lead architect. And at Morgan Stanley, 
um, they've recently open sourced Morphere, right? Into the system to capture business logic in a technology agnostic manner. Legend is central to helping firms organize, understand, and query their data in a fully reproducible, traceable, and explainable manner. Morphere lets you define your business logic in a data-driven way that allows you to transform it to various implementations, visualize it, and explain it. Neither of these tools at their core have anything specifically to do with financial services. You're not gonna find a mention of bonds or discount curves in the core of, of either of these products, right? But they very much address the specific needs of financial services around rigor, transparency, and auditability of our data and how we arrived at it. Both of them bring some really cutting edge technology to bear on the problem, particularly in their use of functional and side effect free programming languages. Several panels today are gonna to address these issues, right? One deals with the exciting prospect of how we can integrate um, more fear and legend, right? And figure out what the synergies are there. Another deals specifically with data governance, uh, enabling data governance um, using the legend platform, right? And, and here's what I really wanna emphasize. This simply wouldn't have been possible without Finos, right? Uh, at Goldman Sachs, we've been building Legend for over 10 years now. Um, you know, Morgan Stanley, I'm sure, has been working on more fear for quite a while, right? But without Finos, there was no real mechanism for us to figure out that each other existed, right? And there was certainly no mechanism for us to be able to share those tools, right? For one firm to use another firm's tools in that way, and then to be able to get together in an open forum and talk about how to integrate them. Finos has made all of that possible now. Um, you know, and Finos not only provides a forum to open source software and collaborate, but it provides an unprecedented convening power, right, which we're seeing right here today, to bring players from all over the financial services spectrum um, together to talk about how to make our industry more efficient and more streamlined than ever before. And that's the power of an open source community dedicated to financial services. And that's been us. Look, and, and thank you all and, and have a great time today. And I'm gonna hand it back over to Gab. Gab, are you, it's like the Wizard of Oz. Here he is. Coming, coming. <laughs> thank uh, you, John. All right. Thank you so much.